So I'm going to talk a little more generally about what I mean, the general idea, the gist of life as art. <clears throat> I think that uh, the reaction of Wise Monkey is, is interesting. Um, he has reacted viscerally, you know, while praising other videos. This is good, this is bad, which is what I dislike about him. When I see this praise, I just think, man, I hate someone that can only go, I disagreed with this one. I agree with it. Why would I fucking care? I am not, I don't care the count, the number of people. Unless I know why you disagree, I do not care that you disagree unless I'm asking you how you're going to vote or something. And I'm curious, statistically. Okay? Now, I tolerate it because I think it's good people want to express themselves. And they, but, you know, it's like thumbs up and thumbs down. I don't get it. How do you feel you've expressed yourself when you click one of those things? I just don't barely ever. I mean, I probably literally have clicked the thumb up and once or something. I don't remember ever doing it. It seems pointless. And the comment even more so. It's like you took the time to go down there and click, click and type. And you couldn't say, I like the part about blue, it's my favorite color. I mean, you're one notch before a kindergartner that just has a lame, crazy reason for what he thought of what you said. I mean, it's just like, I don't, I'm not even convinced you did think about what was said. I have no idea. That kind of thing more likely is reaction to something visual and incidental, simple-minded. And why is the art is life thing, why is that going to strike a, a person like that? A, a person who also doesn't go for the thumbs up and thumbs down, but goes for like the comment version of the thumbs down, which will be, you bitch, and you're a twit, and blah, blah, blah. Someone being perfectly nice to him. I mean, I knew the end for this guy in terms of being any sort of an enigma that just as a human being held interest to explain was over when I saw him trying to provoke Tranquil. I think it's Tranquil 87 or whatever. I don't tend to remember or think about the numbers, but you know, he's, this is a peaceful, semi-antinatalist thinking human being sharing his opinions and wise monkeys doing his, I'm not going to really say what I disagree with, but you're a twit. You're a, you're a total loser twit. I, I, because a lot of people go, wow, if he's that mad, it must be something. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You're just given this this guy or the persona he's created, you know, uh, his, his supply, his personality disorder supply for whatever it is, his whatever it is he wants, consciously, unconsciously, however it is he needs this supply. By assuming he must mean something, because if he had to say it, you'd go, oh, he doesn't really mean anything. Now, why would that get the reaction? Well, because art as life is about a certain kind of individuality. There's a lot of kinds of individuality. I mean, in my life, I have thought, oh, yeah, rugged individualism, that sounds good. But when I look what that term means, see, that's a different model from individual. If I say rugged individual, I'm thinking, you know, Steinbeck or something, you know, it's, it's like the rugged artist. Or, or the even the, the weak and retiring person artist that nevertheless is going to say what he has to say and take the beating even though he is sensitive. That kind of rugged. It's not really rugged. It's not the individual warrior most mighty alpha. It's an alternate view of individuality, of individualism. I'm an individualist, but I'm not a... Well, if you're stronger or have more rocks, then you can pump the people. That's the way it goes. I'm not, I'm not might makes right individualism. That's not individualism to me. That's command and controlism. Where an individual commands and controls a group, that's not individualism. Individualism is where everybody gets to be an individual. And art is the metaphor for that. And artists are very careful, uh, can be. Uh, can be engineering uh, oriented, you know, the pigments, the paints, the material science, these things are always important to artists, you know, the, the equipment for, you know, the musical equipment, amplification, how all of that works becomes important to artists that take their art seriously.
So taking art seriously leads right back into taking reality and science seriously and figuring out how to interact mentally with the material world in a way that is expressive and intentional. So it's a metaphor for living an expressive and intentional life that succeeds at transforming nature and environment into beneficial experiences for oneself and ideally for all sorts of people and they sort of can go hand in hand that's why you can create a work of art for yourself and people want you to share it because they're going wow that's that's good for me too I like seeing that and it's a reaction against this kind of individualism by people that actually with with a straight face persona or not talk about accepted canon for things in 2011 well, you might have a point that you don't accept the canon is. In a non-scientific area, even. And even in science, especially in science, it doesn't hold water, that kind of thinking, but just in general. Well, accept your canon. That's anti-individualistic, you see. There can't be an individual with an accepted canon they decide was accepted canon. So it's a reaction against individualism. And, um that's what the model is promoting it's a new uh, to many uh, but old to artists and creative people metaphor for life itself artists and creative people those that might not think of themselves as artists but do creative productive work stuff I would consider art even if it's low quality or whatever it is it makes them think there's a threshold involved creative people they understand this model and have for a long time and why living your life as though it's a creative endeavor where expression and intentionality are important and they go together because you study yourself through seeing and re-sensing your own expressions so the, to, to maintain some intentionality requires honesty and expression so that you can have the cycle and that's what this model is about saying that life can be viewed as art that your actions can be viewed as art you know and if you make a quick meal that isn't it isn't a five-star chef it could be like it can be like a single frame comic you know it could be something th thrown together with some intentionality to it it just happens to be simple, like a quick sketch is to a fine painting. Or it could be really bad, like, wow, that was really derivative. You know, that was too lazy, that wasn't very artistic. And then on another level, even that is a kind of intentionality. But maybe the statement isn't what you want, which is that not thinking about it is more important to you than achieving intentionality. And maybe you're willing to say, well, I can't do my art all the time. I'm just, I was just experiencing at that point. It was the other side of the cycle. I was letting the meal happen to me and just doing what seemed easiest instead of being intentional about it. Maybe that's fine because you have to have the experiencing side. And this whole interpretation is a complete machine, you know, and it never fails because art is modeled on intentionality. Now our concept of art has come from other models, from that soldier model, from the explorer model, all the kinds of individualists that we have in our cognitive frames on individualism. They've all had an influence on art because there's been artists of all of those types. And so that we can generalize back in art at something that is general to all of those types and it's intentionality right expressive intentionality and interaction with the world that gives and receives as well because the artist is perceptive the mentality is informed so that the mentality is a full part of the cycle just like the materiality is so it's a metaphor for that and having a you know to, to talk at one level like Fred does about well I was an artist and from people that make a living off of it or studying it and here's how we interacted and you know I have problems with that fine and that's there's a lot of senses to words right and you know that kind of art I can understand that and if that's we could put a 
adjective on there, you know, social art, culture art, what, I don't know, you know, but you can realize that's a sense. I understand those objections though, because someone's saying, well, here's how the word is taken, or here's how I take it, and this is what it ends up meaning. But the conceptually, pure conceptually of life as a creative endeavor with intention and expression, you know, on one part of the cycle, and uh, an openness and absorption and learning on the other part of the cycle. You know, that's separate from the words. That's to have a visceral reaction to that whole concept. That's more revealing than all all the speaking we could do on the subject. Because you could complain about, you know, the warrior individual, the might makes right individual on that the, on the cruelty and the, the, the inappropriateness of the moral uh, in, uh, impulchritude of it. But with the artist, there's some repugnant art, there's good art, there's, you know, when you see it art, there's, there is no general criticism. It is the final refuge of the innocent individual, not the oppressive individual, not the individual trying to make command and control hierarchies, right? That individual is not protected. Because that individual is not an artist, is not even really an individual because they need the support of a group for their ego, for their actions. They need more than two hands. An artist can create art with their own self. And if they get assistance, those people are creating art with them. It's not command and control. However hierarchical uh, the creative control is, it's a different framing, right? And they can be mixed. Humans can have mo both frames, obviously. That's what we're talking about it. But the frames are separate. They're contradictory. They don't, as frames mix, they just can be co-present, you know, one in one half of a person's mind, the other in the other. The metaphor, however, the metaphor is an innocent individual, an experiencer in life expressing themselves so that their own life has a full cycle that they benefit from that creates a, a healthy rhythm and cycle to their life okay. and you could reject all the semantics you could argue all the semantics you could talk about um, the the entertainment view and other interpretations of art fine but once the definition of, that I'm talking about art is I'm just saying well I'm taking art as this general statement about intentionality and expressiveness that we don't have in any other concept I'm applying it to life okay whether you object to, to art and what it means in culture that's become separate from this concept of but wait this idea of art is this idea of life right what does that mean well it means that accepted canon can kiss my ass <laughs> 